Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Vintage Scuba. We're still on our uh, double hose uh, regulator series. So you guys that are Vintage Scuba double hose fans, I hope you're enjoying this because I have a lot of double hose regulators that are really, really neat as I've explained. And um, they're pretty special. Not just because they're double hose, but they're special double hose. And that's first thing. And secondly, as I've indicated, I am selling these. They're selling very well uh, to, uh, to uh, collectors, I hope. People that will appreciate them as much as I have. Uh, but uh, the point is that once they're sold, they're sold, they're gone. And I won't be able to do this anymore. So this is your chance to uh, see some of these regulators. And this is a very special one. Uh, the title uh, of this particular episode, I called it The First Aqualung. <laughs> And Kevin questioned me. I, I, I don't understand that. Oh, you guys out there, you know, you don't question Alan Pierce. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely questioned me. But uh, I'm going to call this the first Aqualung. And I'll tell you why. Prior to this, the company was not called Aqualung. It was, they had different names. There was Spaco and Spirotechnique and, and, uh, all kinds of other damn, I'm trying to uh, air liquid and so on. But this, at the time of this regular came out, the company had established its name as Aqualung. So that gives us some legitimacy as the first Aqualung. And secondly, all the regulators that we have shown you and talked about so far, including the Aqualung regulators, the ones made by the company Aqualung, and there are more of those coming, okay, uh, they all had names. This regulator is called. The Aqualung. That's it. So I suppose technically it's the Aqualung Aqualung. The label on here reads, in fact, Aqualung. This is a, an Aqualung made regulator. <laughs> That's why I call it the first Aqualung. There's no other name for it. And you'll notice that this regulator is, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that this is an old regulator. Let me tell you a couple of things that will uh, establish the fact it's old. First of all, it has a detachable exhaust. Okay? So this is old. This was made in the, in the early 50s. I'll tell you exactly when I just came in. The early, the early regulators made by Aqualung by U.S. divers had a detachable exhaust. So this exhaust spigot here on the bottom box on the exhaust side of the regulator, the spigot right here that the hose goes onto has two screws. You could take it off. Left a big gaping hole and you screwed it back on. Later models, in fact very soon after this regulator was made, later models, they didn't have that. That spigot pipe, if you like, was welded on just as it is here on the intake side. So it's detachable exhaust, which means it's old. Uh, the second way you know it's old is it's all satin finish. The whole thing is satin finish. There's no chrome, no other color, of course. Aqualon didn't have other colors for their bodies, generally. Uh, it's all satin finish. Makes it old. Third, it's held together with box clips. Seven box clips, the way it's supposed to be. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the correct number of box clips. It doesn't appear to me that this regulator has been taken apart very often. These box clips are on properly, and there's no scratches or tugs or pulls or anything. I'm going to slip this back on there just because I want to show you something in just a moment. I'm trying to be careful of this hose. You'll see why in a second. So this box clips. So that again, it makes it a fairly old one. Uh, next, the label. The label we just looked at is a nice brass uh, label. Uh, the serial number is impressed into it, and the uh, and it's it's painted blue, and it's attached to the bottom box by four little brass rivets. That's old as well. So there's a, a number of reasons why this particular regulator uh, it's easy to identify as an old regulator. There's one reason, uh, one identifying feature of this regulator that you'll understand in a moment if you haven't spotted it already. That certainly indicates this is an old regulator. Now that is the hose assembly. Now it's a little bit of a misnomer. This is a, obviously to anybody, this is a double hose regulator, right? No, it's not. This is a single hose regulator. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg a little bit. This is a double hose regulator by definition, meaning that there's a hose running from the intake side to the mouthpiece and a hose running from the exhaust side of the mouthpiece back to the bottom box so the bubbles go up behind your head. So 
it is technically, and in fact, it is called a double hose regulator. But it's not a two hose regulator because this is only one hose. It's all one hose. You see, I can squash the whole thing. There's nothing in the mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. There are no exhaust valves, no wagon wheels. Again, if you're a double hose collector, you know what wagon wheels are. I'm just going to hold that with my finger. Easier. There are no wagon wheels in there. You know what wagon wheels are? Wagon wheels are little plastic discs with holes in them, look like wagon wheels, quite frankly. And they have non-return valves. So you inhale, you get air, and you exhale, you, you blow it out, and you don't get water. It makes it very easy to clear. But that came later. That's right. These one-piece double hoses, you got that? One-piece double hose. Very, very rare. Very few of these around. Not even reproduction. This is a genuine rubber one-piece double hose. And even more interestingly, it's a blue one-piece double hose uh, setup. Very, very rare. Most of these uh, are long gone. They were replaced with double hoses with the wagon wheels and the newer type of mouthpiece and the non-return valves, which they make clearing so much easier. You all know that probably. Uh, and, and, uh, and also, certain of these colored ones, the blue ones, there was a blue one. I think there was a yellow one and a green one too. I'm not sure about that, but I know that if they were colored, when they colored the rubber back then in the 50s, whatever they put in to make it colored was not good for the rubber. And these hoses rotted even faster than the black hoses did. The black hoses weren't perfect. If you didn't keep them clean and dry, free from salt water and out of the sun, they would only last a couple of years. Uh, these hoses rotted even faster than that. So there are very, very few of these left. This particular one-piece double hose, okay, is like new. It's still very flexible. It could be used. Very flexible, very soft, pliable, you see. It's like a new hose. It is not. This is well over 60 years old. This particular regulator was made in 1953. 1953. Do the math for me uh, there, Kevin. What does that? 53 would make it 50 and 20, 70, almost 70 years old. Is that right? Yeah. It'll soon be 70 years old. The regulator looks like new, and the one-piece double hose is almost like new. This is a beautiful example of a very early Aqualung double hose regulator. All the features of it. The hose as well is kind of interesting. It became common practice uh, later to have the uh, uh, U.S. diver's name and then even later still the actual U.S. diver's emblem. You know the two-tang emblem? You're familiar with it. Impressed right on, imprinted right on the rubber. Imp not imprinted, it was molded right into the rubber. This one is a little different. It has uh, Aqualung, uh, Los Angeles, California. That's basically what it says on it, printed on there. So it's a genuine, genuine article. This is not a reproduction. Call Beautiful regulator. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if we put this on if this regulator worked. 70 years old and a very, very rare example. These regulators, this particular model, the Aqualung Aqualung, <laughs> it was uh, made from 1950 to 1955. Now, there were different series in there. There was a one that had a black label, one had a red label, one had a green label, and then the last one for the last two years, 54 and 55, had this blue label. So there you go, folks. Uh, blue label, Aqualung, Aqualung, <laughs> detachable exhaust, Tinnaman clamps. I don't have the clamps on there. I don't like to clamp these hoses on tightly because they hurt the hoses. And they're complete with a matching blue one-piece double hose. Beautiful example of an old, old U.S. divers regular. This one is not uh, for sale yet. It will be listed for sale fairly soon. If you are a collector, uh, contact me and we can discuss it. Or you will see it on eBay shortly after that. Anyway, a neat, very old regulator from Aqualung. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. You take care. This is Alec Pierce from Vintage Scuba, and we'll see you soon.